everybody, welcome back to our channel. We're so glad that you can join us today. Today I have Amelia and Juliet with their new letters and I thought I would introduce them to you. So Amelia and Juliet are sisters. They are both the daughters of Gemma. Both of them went into heat very close together and they actually had their litters just over a week apart. So we have Amelia with her litters, Amelia here, and Juliet with her newborn litter that are just uh, three days old to join us today. So I thought I would introduce you guys to the puppies. We haven't been able to do um, birthing videos. Um, I had do have a little bit of Juliet's, um, but just things have been kind of crazy busy, so we weren't able to kind of really get a proper, proper video of either of the births. So, I'll introduce you to their puppies. So Amelia had six puppies. We got two females and four males from this litter. So let me see if I can show you. So this is one of the blue roan females. And this is the other one here. And this is the other blue roan female. You come to see Juliet? <laughs> and see Juliet's coming to have a visit too. And this is one of the blue roan males. I know, I'm sorry, I've got to tear you away from your dinner. And this is one of the other blue roan males. And then we got two liver roan males. The big boys here. Good job, Mama. Get you to your baby. And another other liver roan male. So for those who are not familiar with what roan is, um, there are different colorings you can get in English Springer Spaniels. And the way that we can tell when they're first born is their nose. Their noses and their paws are much darker than what they would be if they were not roan. Roan is where the white all fills in with an evenly blended um, pigmented color. So if they're black, they call it blue because um, when they're aged, the white looks like it's got a blue tinge to it. And then the liver, they have like a kind of salt and pepper. So that's what the roan is. Their noses are extremely dark, um, especially at this stage. But at birth, it's pretty obvious as well. The livers can be a little bit more difficult to tell. Um, sometimes they look like they're not roan and then they kind of roan a few days later. So Juliet had five puppies and we got one black and white female from her. We got one liver roan male. And then we got a blue trirone female. A blue trirone male. And a blue roan male. So these guys are about three days old now. So they are they're doing very well. And they're, they're eating well and growing well. And they were pretty good sized pups too. So to show you an example of with the roan, as I was explaining with Amelia's, this girl is black and white. She's got pink pads on her feet and her nose is pretty well pink. Whereas the roan is very, very dark. The tricolor is just three colors. So usually it's black, white, with tan, just like Juliet. Juliet's a tricolor. So you can get tricolor and then tricolor one as well. So you can really see the difference in size. Um, Juliet's are three days old and these guys are 12 days old. And this just kind of gives you an idea of how fast they grow. It's always hard to believe. But here's a three day old puppy and then a 12 day old puppy. Now this guy is pretty big. This is the smallest out of Amelia's, um, but he's still pretty big compared to these guys. 
So that kind of just gives you an idea on the difference of how, or an idea of how quick they grow um, in this short, such a short space of time. So if you guys have questions about the puppies, we would love for you to ask questions. Leave them in the comment section below. And um, any questions that you have, if there's things that we talk about in the videos that maybe you don't understand what it is that we're um, talking about, please leave a, you know, leave a question in the comment section and we'd love to be able to answer your questions if you have any questions for us. So usually I would not have two mums with newborn puppies together, um, but these two girls are like twins. They're from the same litter. They get along really, really well. They're very well bonded. Um, bonded with me as well. Um, <laughs> Despite what um, you read a lot online, for a lot of people will say, oh, you shouldn't get puppies from the same litter because they bond with, with each other as opposed to you. I would say that's the case with them, but they are very well bonded. Um, they get along very, very well with each other as well as with me. They follow me around a lot. Um, so usually I would keep mothers separate. Uh, in, but in this situation, these two girls, they really, like, they're being very good with each other. They go and they visit each other's puppies and they really don't bother, they don't get overprotective um, about each other going in and visiting the puppy. So this is why I have these guys together. I usually wouldn't have two mums together with the newborn puppies. But under circumstances, I wanted to do a video that would um, show you both Amelia and Juliet. So the sire of both these litters is Remington. We actually did a video a few weeks ago on, on Remy, if you want to check that out. Uh, we do have a video on him. And their brother is our other stud, which is why we chose Remington for our, both of these litters. We have combination of both liver and black from both litters, although we didn't get very many liver. We got more black this time. So we got some two-color um, two color options, just like Remy. Remy's not tricolor. And um, with Amelia and Remington this time, they didn't get any tricolor. Whereas her previous litter, they did get tricolor. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, we really hope that you're enjoying these videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Um, we'd love for you to subscribe and follow along and hit that alarm bell and it will notify you anytime that we do upload new videos. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.